So hi everyone and uh, in this video we're just gonna have a bit of uh, a useful tool or learn a useful tool in converting daily, weekly or monthly data into quarterly data and this is particularly useful in economics because we may have certain variables that we may want to adjust our data to uh, in order for us to be able to conduct our regressions or our analysis. So. Uh, for example, I have my data set here, and uh, these are inflation and uh, a policy rate, and uh, it's measured monthly. Okay, so I have data on it monthly. So this is January 2000, February 2000, and so on. And what I want to do is I want to be able to convert it to quarterly data because I want to put it in a, a time series analysis wherein I have it together with output gap which is measured quarterly here in the philippines so to do that let's just load the data set so let's call it data okay so it's a csv file so we use read underscore csv file dot choose okay uh before that uh can you just make sure that uh library tidyverse that should be there okay, library tidyverse should be there and let's run this one so it's somewhere here i think this one so this is my data and i open it and uh, let's see the first few rows so head data and that's the, my data here so again it's court it's uh monthly data using that format so uh in order for me to be able to turn it to quarterly uh i i'm gonna use certain functions uh that's built inside of R and uh, I need to modify how the date is there. So data dollar sign date, okay. This is equal to as dot date. So that's a function, whoops, as dot date. Okay, then uh, I'm gonna transform this uh, here. Essentially, I'm gonna transform the date inside of that data set to the format uh, that's recognizable by R for me to be able to transform it. So that's percent monthly, percent daily. Oops, I think. Okay, that's correct. Percent Y. Okay. And there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to arrange my data set now. So data. I'm going to arrange it by date. Range. Because it might come out not arranged by date date okay there then uh inside data now i i have an object called uh uh i'm gonna get this q date thing here and that's essentially okay uh if i generate that if i do use this function so as dot year quarter okay so there's as that year month if you want to change it to monthly as that year quarter we'll change it to quarterly obviously and you're going to change that uh, date variable to that. Then, okay, so you have that one. Then let's generate an object data underscore quarterly or quarterly. And uh, this is coming from data. Okay, so we're coming from data. Then we're going to group by underscore by. Okay, then you should see now a Q date here. So you saw it there. Then uh, we're gonna use, continue to use the pipe function now. Then we're gonna summarize all. And you can summarize it by a couple of uh, means. Uh, you can either take the last value or get uh, some moving average value. But in this case, we're just gonna use the mean. Okay, and that should work. Okay, so that's uh so we now have this one so date underscore quarterly and if you notice uh we now have a q date which is our quarter okay and then it was able to get those values and it also has a modified date for each okay then uh so let's go back whoops here okay then uh let's uh, write it to a csv file so write dot csv uh, data underscore quarterly 
uh, then you have file. So this will be your file, na file name. So let's say quarterly converted dot CSV. So that's my file name. Then what we're going to do is we're going to set row names. Okay, row names is equal to true. Oops, true. Then file encoding equal to uh, UTF standard format 8. And we should find the file now. So that's quarterly converted. So there. So let's open it up. And we have quarterly converted, which uh, you already have now the quarterly data point. So it's been adjusted to that. So that's a simple tutorial on how to convert uh, monthly data, in this case, to quarterly data. Thank you for watching.